What's going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of the Bring the Juice Colts podcast. So I wanted to bring this up, topic up because if you're seeing the title of this video, then uh, you know where I'm about to go with this. And uh, it's been a topic that has been floating around for a couple weeks now. And I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts. So I would love it if you could tell me in the comment section, what you think about this issue, but let's hop into it. So, you know, we've been talking a lot. There's been a lot of talk about Jacob Eason over this off season. You know, everybody was at the beginning of the off season saying, Hey, Jacob Eason needs a shot, right? To go and be the number one quarterback here for us. And, uh, well, I mean, it certainly looked like for a while there that he might have a chance to do that with, you know, Carson Wentz being out, and all this other stuff, but we're in a spot now where Eason has his job potentially being questioned. Let's think about it for a second. We had, in the offseason, when Carson Wentz was signed, we said, okay, Eason's going to be the bona fide number two. That's what we're, that's what we're all thinking. Colts drafted uh, Sam Ellinger in the draft. Uh, even then, you know, a lot of people still thought, okay, well, Ellinger has a certain aspect to his game that Eason doesn't have, but Eason also has been in the system for a year long. And he also has that cannon of an arm. So you never know, right? And I mentioned uh, right at the beginning of that draft when they set, when they signed him, you know, I, I said that I thought Ellinger might pass Eason at some point because of what Ellinger potentially brings. Right. So we get into the off season, we get into training camp, right? And training camp comes along and then basically he becomes the number one quarterback, right? Carson Wentz goes down with an injury, has to have surgery. Easton takes the majority of the snaps. Eason's the primary number one quarterback, at least what most people consider. And then, you know, Carson comes back. Carson's number one. And then Eason, thrown into the Wolves in week two, is certainly not the greatest of performances he had. He wanted to have. Threw an interception to Jalen Ramsey on his second pass, which eventually sealed the game, and made sure that L.A. won. After that, everything spiraled out of control. Brett Hundley, who was the original third quarterback that was placed on the practice squad, was then reactivated from the practice squad, and it was reported that Frank Reich stated, well, we're not, gonna, we're, we're not going to definitively name a backup. We're not going to definitively do that. We're going to see who wins it out. And, you know, they both might share some time. Like, oh, okay. Well, you know, if Eason has a good week of practice and if Eason does some things, you know, maybe maybe he shows that. Well, and then after the Titans game, even though Huntley never played in that game, they played Wentz through the whole game, despite the fact that he had two bum ankles. Huntley was named the primary backup after that. I mean, they said that we we're going to keep we're going to keep him around and we're going to have him be the backup going forward. Okay, so and then the question came was if you're coming to that decision now, why wasn't that the decision weeks ago? Well, never gotten a really great answer from you know, Reich told us, well, it's his experience, his veteran leadership, and his ability to be mobile. Again, you knew that going into training camp. Why was that not the decision before? Still no answer to that question. And now what we saw was Sam Ellinger was practicing on the field at Baltimore the other day, obviously wasn't getting ready to play at all, but they were practicing and uh, th- making him stretch and stuff and getting uh, some warm-up stuff going. 
So what's weird about all that is, so Eason's a healthy scratch, but Ellinger's making trips and getting practices in and doing stuff like that? Guys, I think Eason's gone. I think Eason's done. I think his time in Indianapolis is far gone at this point. I think once Ellinger gets back into the rotation, Ellinger's going to get placed on the practice squad, and then he's going to be a protected practice squad player, and he's going to be the third quarterback going forward. I, I mean, you do not go from we have supreme confidence in Jacob Eason going forward if Wentz were to miss time, and then two months later say, yeah, we're not we're not sure if he's going to even be the backup. You don't get to that point without something drastically happening here. And again, whether you not what you want to blame it on the Colts uh, coaching staff for being, you know, being arrogant and how they've approached this, or whether or not something has happened behind the scenes that we don't know of, or that they truly believe now that Eason is not truly the guy that they thought he was ready for. I mean, we're here now. And I think Ellinger's going to end up being the guy going forward, at least from the third spot on. You know, I mean, maybe Ellinger at some point becomes the second quarterback because, you know, he's got time. He's got the mobility. I mean, he plays the game a lot like Carson does and a lot like Reich, like Reich wants. And that's what I was been, that's what I've been saying all this time. So I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this, guys. I really want to know what you think because. Eason fans must not be happy about this, about all this. Because, you know, Eason had a shot, and it seems like he's fading off into the existence further and further away as we as we keep talking about this. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much. And as always, go Colts.